Hello and welcome to this um, video here. I had this question last year on how to make kind of Ghibli inspired clouds a little bit in the style that you're currently looking at. Um, and I asked some very smart people uh, that I work with and some other friends uh, how they thought I would go about having this kind of effect of these clouds in a video game and uh, with a lot of control over like how I was shaping the clouds and so on. And uh, I got a few answers. No one seemed to know exactly how I would go about doing this, uh, having these uh, nice fluffy clouds with kind of gradient effects in them and um, so on. In, and of course, in a, optimized enough to be able to be like in a VR world because uh, the other attempts I've tried to do uh, were very heavy. And in the end, uh, as you can see, I have managed to get something that I'm quite happy with. Uh, I am, of course, a uh, programmer first, so uh, these nice pretty clouds uh, might be even better if you are a little bit more artistically inclined than I am. Uh, so in this video, I have decided to just not just show them off, but give you a, a sense of how I came to make the fluffy clouds in the shapes that they are. Um, and uh, uh, the kind of tools and uh, plugins and such that I used to make them. Now, what this video is not uh, planned to be is a step-by-step um, -step tutorial on how to do this. Uh, what I am going to do, however, is put in the description below uh, uh, links to tutorials that I use to be able to, um, well, that, that inspired these clouds as well. Okay, there's a slime over there, as well as uh, some other links that might be helpful to be able to do this, such as uh, links to the plugins that I used. So without any further ado, uh, let's move on uh, to uh, back to the desktop. And here we are back in the desktop. Uh, as you can see, this is in a Unity scene and uh, the clouds are present. Here we go. Uh, I'm also going to show that uh, do 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 terrain pieces etc etc sun and moon polyverse skies. Uh, I've actually set this up so that you can change the time of day, so you can have it midday or have it nighttime. So we have these nice stars in the sky. Uh, we have a moon. There's a sun and moon that also moves with it. So as you can guess, we will be touching on polyverse skies uh, down the line. But for now, let's go back to just the clouds. So the clouds here that we can see were made in Blender. You can probably make the same effect in other 3D software, but um, as I learned to do it in Blender, we're going to go there for now. So here we are in Blender, and here is a random cloud shape that I have created. This is the base of one of the clouds. And I just want to show how this is made and to what point you have control over the shape and look of the clouds, how to go about it. Once again, this is not a step by step tutorial uh, from an empty scene up to this point. I'm going to use what's currently uh, in my scene and show off a little bit of how it's done. So if you're familiar with Blender, uh, this will sound uh, this might be familiar to you and you'd be like, oh, yeah, OK, I see how he's using these. Uh, tools and modifiers to get this effect. If you're not uh, used to using Blender, uh, then I'm going to, as mentioned before, in the description down below, uh, add a link to the tutorial that I followed um, that inspired these clouds. Uh, the tutorial itself isn't actually about clouds, it's about how to do trees in the Ghibli style. But um, while I was following it at some point, I realized, hey, you know, if you made these white, they look like clouds. <laughs> that's that's where this all came from. So uh, let's just hide a few things for now. Let's uh, go up to select foliage, select the modifiers. Uh, if I hide this, I hide everything. Darn. Okay. Um, let us in that case just turn off the rendering for these particle effects. No, that's not what I want. I'm sorry. This one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So first things first, I have this uh, foliage um, object here. And as you can see, the foliage object is literally just a ball. It is a very simple shape. Uh, if I go into 
this mode here. I made this ball as a cube, subdivided it a bunch, made it spherified, and uh, got this ball. I then added uh, a decimate on it just to simplify the shape down to this. If we go into wireframe, you can get an idea of what this looks like now. It's just a really messy ball, but that's, that's really all we needed. Here we go. And uh, secondly, um, I also, let's just turn this off the data transfer thing as well. Uh, so yeah, it, it is even smooth. It's, it's really messy. And that is exactly what we want. Because the next thing we're going to want to do is use this ball as a particle, uh, particle instance <laughs> on, on something else. So let's just hide this for the moment and go to that something else. So up here in this collection, I have something called particle emitter. That's really the only thing that's really important right now. So let's show this. And as you can see, we have this lumpy shape here as such. If we go see the wireframe, it, it's quite, you know, there's quite a little bit of geometry on it. Uh, you don't have to do that. I'm fairly certain that if you just gave a basic shape on it, you can get whatever you wanted. Actually, we are going to go one step further. We are going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select literally everything. Here we go. Just to show how much control over the shape you can have, we're going to do remove this, remove faces. Oh, I forgot one. Select this. There we go. Remove faces. And we are just going to go add a monkey. And we're going to make a monkey head cloud. So let's take this and scale it up to a, a, a good size, such as this. And I'm going to, while I'm still here, go into faces and go down to shade smooth just to kind of smooth this monkey out because that will be useful down the line uh can i have it without the oh i'm sorry i have to get out of polygonal mode so yeah we have this nice monkey shaped uh cloud here this uh the shape that we put on the particle emitter will be the shape that the cloud particles are going to use to generate a bunch of particles right so if we go back to our foliage still called foliage and show it we're going to be able to see that nothing happens because i've turned a few of these things off that's fine so we're going to go down to uh, these particle instances we're going to ignore the data transfer stuff for now and i am going to go ahead and hide our particle emitter for now we don't really need it we just need this and we're going to go to our first particle instance here. You see that it is using the particle emitter, the monkey head, uh, as the object that is basing itself off of. And we are going to just turn this off. So this first instance here creates uh, a bunch of clusters of these little balls here. We can change the amounts if we wanted to. I, I'm, not, I'm not going to do that. This is fine. Uh, and now if we go to the second one, it's going to use these uh, as a basis of putting more particles on it. So if we turn this one on, you can see that it has created particles from the particle bases that we had previously. And the end result is the shape of the monkey head, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we have this monkey head of blocks <laughs> and the normal maps of it is absolutely broken. That's that's fine. We we're we're gonna fix that because the last part uh, to do on this is the data transfer. So in in the data transfer, uh, what it does is it takes the source normals of an object and applies it to all of these particles. So right now it's set to custom normals, but that's not what we want anymore. We're going to put it on particle emitter so that it takes the let's hide this once more open this it's going to take the um, normals of this monkey head uh kind of the smooth information of it and it's going to apply it to our blobby circle here so if we turn this on as you can see we now have the blobby circles uh, our particles are using the normal map of the uh, not normal map the normals of the monkey head under it and the end result is something that looks like what we want the the um the effect we were looking to get uh originally this kind of uh, cloud-like effect on the monkey head that is exactly how you do this 
it's not any more difficult than this. Once again, uh, much more information in the linked tutorial uh, down in the description. I will put it there because if you don't know much about Blender, um, you will have no idea what I was just talking about. And if you do have a little idea of Blender, I may have missed a bunch of steps. Uh, so uh, go follow that if you're, um, if you're interested in more information. And don't be thrown off by the fact that it is a tutorial about making trees because that's where I got the idea. Uh, so there we go. This is how you make our nice little monkey head cloud. Now, I've already exported this monkey head cloud uh, during one of my streams, so <laughs> we're not going to export this again. What I am going to do is go over to uh, this this um, project over here, this Unity project, it literally only has um, it only has Polyverse guys added to it, and I think this scene is empty. No, it isn't. Let me just select that and go closer. We here we go. So Polyverse guys comes with this scene that is called Generator. Here we go. And when you use it, uh, you get this uh, scene where there is just a little camera. Uh, is there a camera? Yes, camera. Camera in the center and some clouds around the edges. Now, by default, you will not have what you are seeing now because this is what I'm using in my game currently. Um, you're going to get something with a much more low poly style clouds to it. And that's perfectly fine because it's really easy to change the clouds that you want. So I'm going to just change one of the clouds, let's say cloud B, and you can create pretty much as many of these as you want. If you wanted a thousand different types of clouds, you could do that. I suggest mostly if you're doing it in VR that you create a new project and only put Polyverse Skies in it to um, to be able to do what we're about to do here uh, because uh, you don't necessarily want the cloud models um, taking up space in your main project. And um, mostly if you're in your VR, it might not even be possible to do because the VR camera is going to override stuff and it's going to be a little bit messy. So it's, it's best to do this in a separate scene with Polyverse Skies. So I'm selecting a cloud. As you can see, it's using a particle system in Unity to, to choose uh, how these clouds are placed. You have the normal controls for the particles here. And if you go down to render, uh, you can select the mesh that you want. So let's just select, unfortunately, I named them all foliage. But let's just select another monkey head. Uh, I happen to know that that's the correct monkey head. So as you can see, uh, we now have monkey head clouds being added to here. Let's do it a few more times. Let's have nothing but monkey heads. Here we go, foliage and foliage. We got a bunch of monkey heads. Uh, I think D is also not a monkey head, but we're about to find out. And foliage. And as you can see, uh, while I'm doing this, my frame rate has significantly dropped. This is because the clouds that we were making in Blender, if we go back to Blender for a second, um, it is using, as I was saying earlier, let's just turn these off. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Here we go. Data transfer, data transfer. It is using this shape here, and it is creating uh, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of particles of that shape, bloop, bloop. Um, it can be very, very heavy. So you don't want to literally use these uh, meshes in your game. It will just, it will eat up your frame rate. As we can see over in our cloud here right now with the monkey heads, it is just killing everything. But what this generator does, however, let's not do the last cloud because it is starting to slow down quite a bit is it's going to create a um, cube map <laughs> a cube map for for your world uh, that we're going to use as a kind of skybox thing for it so I'm selecting render clouds to cube map going to polyverse sky generator and we're going to generate the cube map and it is going to take a little moment so we are going to wait for that mostly with the clouds that I have added in there 
and we are back. It took about 30 seconds. I'm just going to hide this uh, game object right here. Here we go. So you can see the frame frame rate dropping quite a bit uh, with these clouds in, which is why I was saying you don't want to literally use these game objects. So I'm just going to please. There we go. And now our frame rate is back to normal. And as we can see, we have our monkey heads all over the all over the air. Uh, it is now just using a uh, cube map uh, to put the clouds in the sky. So once this is done and we have this much more optimized uh, method of having our cube map uh, clouds in the air, we can um, go back to, let's just remember where these are being saved to, I think it's assets. Yeah, here we go. Generated cloud cube map right here. You just take this and you move it over to whatever your main project is. Here we go. As such, and let's just move ourselves to a smarter location. And you put polyverse skies in your world. And in polyverse skies, uh, you'll be able to have your day sky and your night sky. So let's go to day sky real quick and you can add in your pattern for the um, for the different cube maps that you want. So uh, you have the pattern for which one is this? The no, nope, that's something else. Uh, clouds, 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 stars, sun, moon, clouds. Here we go. You add in your clouds that you created for it right here and it just it just works. You have a whole bunch of other uh, controls, however, if you want a texture for the sun to be a bit different, if you want a texture for the moon to be a bit different, uh, if you want a texture for your stars to be a bit different, you can have complete control over that. But just putting the cube map for the clouds in your polyverse skies in your project, you have clouds that you have 100% control over um, that functions fine with VR. It's very optimized compared to having literal uh, meshes in the air and you can sneak in a really sneaky uh, monkey head into your project uh, without people noticing too much. So that is how it is done. Uh, I hope this helps someone else out. Uh, it took me quite a few months to figure out uh, on stream how I would go about having some nice clouds that I can have a day-night cycle on myself. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this will help someone else down the line. Thank you for dropping by and listening to this video. And uh, yeah, feel free to come drop by the stream in the future. Goodbye.